Hey there, sign of cancer. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for the next 24 hours. That will make this reading for January 25th, tomorrow, 2021. And we're gonna start with my gratitude. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you very much. Um, so we're gonna call in the divine white light to surround us as we do the reading and surround you as you watch this reading. Calling in our angel spirit guides, higher self, higher power. And we're going to try to get messages for only the greater good sign of cancer. Let's get started for next 24 hours. Cancer, these, this is the archetype deck. And then we are going to pull cards from a few oracle decks. And then at the end, we'll take the Rider Waite Tarot, we'll shuffle it above the cards and see where it lands to give you messages. Then the tea leaves at the very end. So it'll be a brief reading. It's just for the next 24 hours. So, all right, let's get going, Cancer. Ooh, the unseen. All right. Maybe there's something. Now, I see this card meant a few ways. Um, it, it can it can kind of be referring to things like the moon quality, things that are just unknown at this time. Um, they aren't seen or predicted. Or this is the unseen talking about that spirit realm, um, intuition, maybe even psychic abilities, uh, things like that. I'm going to turn to the book just to give you a quick um, definition from the writers of this deck. So the unseen. These are the light words that are attached to this card. The spirit, the ancestor, the eternal clairvoyant guidance and whispers of wisdom and the dark side of this card is dark looming energy and the unwillingness to forgive hmm. Hmm. so this is about communication from the unseen saying that the the doorway between us and the spiritual realm is ajar, meaning the veil has gotten a little bit thinner and things are, um, this has been a pattern with cancer. I've noticed this, that there are ancestors or people that have passed on that are trying to connect with you. And, I, and they try to a lot in my readings with cancer. Um, above all other signs, maybe you and Taurus, but... Yeah, above all other signs, you by far have the uh, most urgent uh, spirit messages from the other side. People you are related to. So just think in your head of who that might be. Maybe it's somebody that, it's definitely somebody you can't see anymore that's trying to talk to you from spirit realm. Let's get you some spell casting cards, okay, for Cancer. There we go. We have truth, passion. I'm getting um, communicating that tr the truth is that we go on, that, that there's a spirit realm that does have constant contact with us, just um, depending on if we're paying attention to that or not. We have good luck at the bottom. So this is like signifying a lucrative win or something like that. Passion that's like the ace of wands. So this is inspiration that comes in might might be from a fire sign Leo Aries Sagittarius Passion this is what finding the truth of what really drives you um, towards your passion and maybe thinking of how we can incorporate that day-to-day -day, um, in maybe even what we do like for a living, what we do, incorporating passion in that. She looks like she's dancing on flames in there. It's a really pretty card. There's some truth that needs to be shed onto what you're supposed to be doing. 
You can find out through your passions. All right, some energy cards for Cancer. Energy cards for Cancer, please, for the 25th January. All right, we have two. We have attachment, and then we have adjacent possibilities. Hmm. All right, we can have positive and negative attachments. Um, this card seems to be referring to almost a mask that you wear that other people would see and that would be masking your attachment to something. Maybe you've placed an attachment onto a spirit. You may have spirit attachments. Giving permission for someone to go, to go um, fully into spirit realm. Or we could be talking a little bit darker here with dark attachments. Um, and Or things like the devil um, card suggests like addictions and things like that that we are attached to and that aren't really our real self. They're some kind of um, desperate emotion that needs to be fulfilled that's not doesn't really have anything to do with who we actually are adjacent possibilities 24 there are lots of things that you can do when you find your truth and you find your passion um, lots of doors that look like they're open to you some wide open some are on the floor so you might have to look around and not um, don't put a box on where these opportunities need to lie it can be anywhere. All right, guys, let's get some wisdom from the Oracle. And then we will draw some tarot. All right, for Cancer, please. For Cancer. Oh, no. I think that's too much, but the two I will take. Orphaned, okay, and observer. So, orphaned is being in a situation that you don't feel like you fit in. Once again, maybe to do with this attachment, doing something that's not you, that's not like you, and therefore resulting in somebody that's not feeling like they fit in at all. This could be you, this could be um, somebody else around you. The observer is just simply taking a step back, setting your ego aside, and looking at things from like a spirit point of view. Um, realizing that everything does happen to us uh, for our own good, whether you realize it now or not. But when we step back and we realize that some things were orchestrated, um, some things were about divine soul contracts, things like that, that we just might not know um, or be able to understand until after. All right, Cancer, let's find out more information on these cards with the tarot. See, with it. See where it lands. Messages for cancer, please. I was about to say, does anything want to come out? So for attachment and truth, which it looks like it's touching both of those. All right, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, I see. I see what this means. This means that when I said don't be, um, don't put a possibility in a box or um, a certain a way to get to an outcome don't limit it like make your options your mind open and your options open in that sense and this has to do with the way that you're gonna receive your pentacles the truth of the matter is these pentacles are coming and they're coming in a reliable dependable manner you could be dealing with a young adult leo aries 
no, not Leo. Why did I even say that? Um, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But this is being attached to how you're going to get these uh, funds, how you're going to get the money. There's something that you need to tap into the truth about and not be so attached on the way that you do something because it will get to you. You just don't have to be attached to a certain way because it might take longer when you're like that. Then we have the Four of Pentacles on the adjacent possibilities and passion. And, you know, to me, this is still an issue with Pentacles, but I think it's about investing in yourself and not really listening to what other people have to say is right for you. Um, being, you know, being comfortable with your decisions, no matter what they really are, and making sure that you're investing in yourself. This may require investment before you come back with the um, amount of money that you're wanting. There is fast communication on the bottom with the Eight of Wands. We will get some more cards for cancer, please. Oh, and it came out. So fast communication. You're going to find out something about your possibilities and your options, your opportunities. They're going to come in and it might be like they come in one after another. So this is good news. This is good news. This is about things that you can manifest. I think these are things that you have manifested into your life somehow, some way. Okay, one more card. For Cancer, please. All right. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. And I have this over here. So, there may be some kind of deception around you. Or possibly somebody that was stealing away with something. Maybe this was something of yours. Maybe the energies flip-flopped. But it could also mean like a self-deception. That's kind of what I'm getting from that card too. Of something that maybe you're doing that's not really fitting well. And there is travel to some kind of victory. Once you're able to look at things uh, from like a spirit point of view and then realize that there are different options, there's different ways to get to where you need to go. Cancer, ultimately, this is you sitting in yourself, your truth, your authentic self on your ride or your travel to victory. This is your journey. All right, let's get some tea leaves for you and wrap up this reading. All right, that's a good card. That's my favorite card in the whole deck. Whale, great worry over nothing. Maybe it's that deception card. Uh, flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. Mm. July, for somebody that need a month, and November. So July and November. And then vulture, depression or anxiety. Worry that someone is against you. Doesn't say that they are just says worry and it might be this um orphan card all right thank you guys i'm so glad to have done your reading i'm sending love and light out to you bye